Okay guys, hey, um, I just wanted to, oop, so I wanted to come on here, I'm just gonna, like, do my face while I do it, cause I'm kinda, like, running late, I said I wanted to leave by 8.30, but the, what I'm about to explain is about to show why I'm about to be a little late, or off my schedule that I wanted to be on, so, just bear with me. I did tell you guys that i am at my granny's house in fort lauderdale by myself um the reason well the reason why i'm by myself is because they went up to new york my aunt and my granny they went up to new york which is fine because remember like when they went to orlando i was here by myself like everything was fine right so of course i'm always going to be on my p's and q's because i'm a young girl in a house by myself um, in the neighborhood, I'm not really, people don't know me, I don't know anybody, so anything can happen, right? I'm not, I'm not oblivious to anything happening. I'm aware anything can happen. But, so, um, with all that being said, I was sleeping, I went to bed around one, I was sleeping, and, I don't know, I just, woke up i think i was just moving in my sleep and i just woke up and i looked like because my door was not fully closed it was like it was closed but like you know when you don't fully close it like you can see that little tiny crack i could see a light right i see a light through the crack and i'm like i turned off every light in this house like i know i did like i don't play about that especially if i'm gonna be here by myself like i'm not scared of the dark i'm not really a, a person that's scared of the dark so i was like yeah, I'm gonna make sure to close all the door. I mean, I'm gonna make sure to close the door and turn off every single light, which I did. And I know that because I went down there twice. I went back downstairs to put a dish in the sink. And I remember specifically turning off every light. So I'm confused. I'm immediately shocked. Like, I'm like, what? So I get up, I open the door a little bit, I look down the stairs, and I see lights on. I'm panicking. I'm panicking like wouldn't you like if you know if you know for a hundred percent sure that you turned off a light and then all of a sudden that light is on wouldn't you panic like I'm I'm not like a loud panicker like you know <laughs> like I just stay quiet I just said okay let me close the door locked it and I didn't have the because I locked the door the weapon that I would use to like protect myself is outside like it's any it was in like the suitcase because i had two suitcases out here in the hallway so any weapon that i could use to protect myself was not in the same room as me because i locked the door and i didn't want to make too much noise in case there was somebody downstairs keep in mind i didn't hear anything i didn't hear anybody downstairs but if a light is on i'm still going to be automatically on alert like what the hell so um yeah so that happened um so i call my mom and then she's like call my granny granny doesn't answer i call my aunt she didn't answer either so then i have another aunt that lives in the same kind of area her name is auntie polly so called her and she's like she wakes up she's up and she's like are you sure i'm like i'm sure so i'm like i don't want to call the cops because i'm not going downstairs to open the door like i'm not going if there is somebody in the house it doesn't make sense for me to go downstairs so i was like i don't want to call the cops because if i call the cops who's going to open the door for them because it's not going to be me <laughs> and i don't want them to bang down the door you know so my auntie probably is like okay i'll come so she comes and surprisingly when she comes like the neighbor next door like she's walking her dog and she sees her and, she, and then my aunt explains this she's like my niece is inside um she says that she hears somebody oh no she um she feels like somebody's in the house because the light is on and she didn't turn on the light so my auntie probably actually had an extra key which is good so i didn't have to leave the room to go to her to go open the door for her and yeah the dog she had a dog and the neighbor had a dog and neighbor's dog just like 
looked looked around sniffed around just to see if anybody was here but everything was all good everything was okay it was it wasn't like the scariest moment of my life but i've never really like had anything like that where because i'm not scared to be alone i'm not scared of the dark i'm not really i'm not really like those type of that type of person that's like very superstitious and cautious and like very paranoid and then get this even weirder like even weirder right because it's like five o'clock at this point like it's five thirty six o'clock i was like i don't think i'm gonna get any sleep then i finally i'm like let me just go to sleep by like seven o'clock i'm like let me go to sleep let me get another hour in before i have to get up so i'm sleeping and then all of a sudden i put like the cover over my head and i just fall asleep like still like kind of up but i'm like in my sleep i just feel like somebody like tied my legs real real ish real i'm so serious i feel like somebody tied my legs and then like they had their hands over the blanket covering my head and it was like slowly squeezing my head in and I'm, i just feel myself like who is this and i feel like breathing and i'm like what so i'm like i rebuke you in the name of the lord i rebuke this in the name of the lord i rebuke you and then i just got up obviously nobody's there but it felt so real i know i'm not the only one to have ever felt that like there's a difference between sleep paralysis and feeling like somebody's actually tying you down like that was this really happened to me like i was like when that happened when i got up i was like yeah i gotta go i gotta get up i gotta get out i gotta get out right now <laughs> i don't know what's going on i'm panicking like i'm just like yeah i have to go but everything's okay um i'm just ready to get started on my day because i just have so much stuff to do for in a short period of time so first priority on my agenda list is to first i'm gonna do first hmm, this is good this is good okay yeah i know what i'm gonna do okay first on my list for the agenda today is to go to the apartment get the key throw everything that's currently in my car in the apartment like just throw it in just just put it down and go i'm gonna go straight to let's go to the bathroom i'm going to go straight to the storage unit to go i have to talk up a little bit because this vent is so loud um i'm gonna go to the storage unit and get my stuff and then close out my storage unit because I'm obviously not going to need it anymore and then go back to the the apartment and go back to the apartment drop everything off that I just got from the storage unit and put it into the apartment obviously drop it all off and then I'm going to go to Ikea and try and find a mattress that's so far what i got on my agenda um other stuff will include but the make the main things i need to do is just drop my stuff off so it's all there and i have a package coming there today too I'm supposed to so hopefully pack a like start unpacking a little bit but like that's not that's not really what i'm really caring about i just want to get as much done as possible packing obviously has to be in it but i have a feeling i know especially since i'm going to the the concert i know it's not gonna all get done today i'm in my new apartment <laughs> anyway oh my god atrocious per usual what is what else is new anyway so I'm in my new apartment and of course, of course, I'm going to give you guys an empty, empty apartment tour. Couldn't get the words out. So I'm so excited. It's so nice. It's like really nice. Like in this gate, it's kind of like gated community-ish. Like can't get in if you, you didn't let nobody know. Like it's just, it's very official. You know, if you ain't got the pass key, you ain't got nothing. But anyway, so I'm just giving you a tour because <laughs> So when you first walk in, this is the living room area. So yeah. And then you see we have just look at the view. Wow. Okay. 
Um, there are many failed attempts. Finally got it. So then you come out, and this is the big ass, big old balcony. Like, look at this big old balcony. Like, there's just so much. Wow, wowzy, wow, wow. So, and then we got the pool view. So, this. Let me give you. This, this is the kitchen. It's so. It's like small, but it's like really nice. Like, really nice. So it's nice small, it's not a bad small. So we got the sink over here. It has the, um, what do they call this? You know, that thing, they have that. We have that. Um, we have dishwasher, oven, stove, microwave, fridge. Just all that, it's really nice. Really nice. This is the one of those fancy ones, not the one with, you know, it's electric stove, I think that's what it's called. So that's nice, it's crazy. Okay, so then we're gonna move into the bedrooms. So this is bedroom number one. The bedrooms are a little small, like smaller than like the whole apartment. Like I feel like they took up too much room with the living room, but hey, I guess. But definitely pretty small. And then we have the mirror with the closet. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty big, it's pretty big, not bad. So there's me. And then have the window view. This is a nice view too. Okay, then we're gonna walk, 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 walk. And then on our way to the next bedroom, we'll find the washer and dryer. And it's pretty standard, but nice, cool. Don't have to go out to go do laundry which is great, just do it from the comfort of my bed. Then we're gonna go, before we get to the next bedroom, we're gonna go to the one of the bath, the other bathroom. Oh, it's gonna make that sound. So this is the bathroom, pretty big and spacious. So we have one countertop, which is kind of suckish because two people are gonna be sharing this bathroom. So it could have been like two, you know, two sinks, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Have like this, this is good that they give that to you toilet shower and it's the one where you gotta get a shower curtain i was really hoping it would have been the other one but it is what it is and now turning around to the next bedroom i just realized none of these bedrooms have light none of them have light so it's gonna be dark in here none of them have light oh i definitely have to get a mattress today because i didn't know if the floor was gonna be carpet or not if it was carpet i was like, okay i could probably chance it put a blanket down and fall asleep on it but this is tired, I'm gonna be cold. But anyways, se second bedroom, pretty much the same. I feel like it's low-key smaller than the first. I'm not sure. Well, maybe it's bigger, I don't know. Another window with the view. We have another closet with the mirror, same concept, so I'm not gonna open it again. And then if we make a sharp right, we're at the master bedroom, AKA my bedroom <laughs> so when you come in it's just this big floor it's definitely bigger big layout you have the window same view kind of not really too much pool but just a little bit um then you turn around and this is the craziest part this closet is bigger than i thought it would be like do you see this closet like i could literally fit a bed in here I could fit my college dorm bed in here. Like, this is crazy how big this is. So like, I could fit a lot of clothes in here, a lot of stuff, like, this is crazy to me that it's so big. But I am not complaining. <laughs> I'ma need a lot of rugs, like a lot of rugs though, cause it looks like I'ma be cold, my feet gonna be cold with this tile on the floor. Anyway, then we have the bathroom, the master bathroom, toilet, sink, shower, and that is me. <laughs> I am like so flabbergasted, so shocked. Shout out to the rents for making it possible that I can get my own apartment. So thank you parents. Um, I'm very grateful. This is crazy to me that this is my apartment for the next year. start moving in decorating speaking of moving in and decorating we got things to do so we got to bounce 
guys would be proud of me. I'm being a good YouTuber. I'm remembering. I'm reminding myself, like, you gotta pick up the camera. I had to take the ponytail down because, boy, I couldn't do it no more. But I just, I'm about to leave the storage unit. Just emptied out everything, canceled the, ended it, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So now, it's time to go back to the apartment and go put all this stuff in. And then after that, I'm gonna go to Ikea, Costco, Walmart, and go see what the mattress is looking like. Um, so, yeah. That is what's on the agenda. My friend, he, he made a whole playlist of all like, like, cause, uh, my friend, he made a playlist of like the the songs that Chris Brown's gonna perform on his set that we don't know because it's on TikTok like somebody posted like his set list for his show today or his show's period for his whole tour so he said it to me so I have to listen to it so I can learn some of the words but I highly doubt it like I'm so laser focused on what I gotta do I'm already like an hour behind schedule where I wanted to be in the tour like she was giving me like an intro to everything like showing me how the parking would work and everything that took a lot longer than I thought but she had to do her job and I was glad she was thorough so now cuz I'm supposed to be like the the messenger for the rest of my roommates to tell them like what she told me so yeah I'm on, bit, on my way back to the apartment head that's west we, on Northwest second terrace toward Northwest right. 38th court so that's what we about to do turn right onto Northwest 38th oh, court then right. turn left onto Northwest 4th Street this is why I never leave the the, the sound on like I just figure it out myself because that sound is annoying as hell like I'm just repeating it though I'm gonna go drop all this stuff at the storage unit from the storage unit back at the apartment just drop it off no unpacking no nothing I don't think any unpacking is getting done today not even not even announcing it okay so then um, then I'm gonna leave and I'm going to go to Costco or wherever like the nearest closest whatever is by here by the apartment to go get to find a mattress because otherwise I'll be sleeping on tile tonight and I'm not with that I'm not trying to do that so yeah and then I have to come back and hopefully when I come back it's going to be around 3 3 30 4 o'clock so I can start getting ready to go to a concert and then probably eat because I haven't eaten my tripod that I use to put on my desk like to sit up in the car and I'm not going back right now <laughs> I'm not going back right now so I think should I eat in my room I don't know that's a little weird we ain't got no chairs and <laughs> I'm like where am I gonna sit oh I can just I'm gonna sit you guys up in one the echo is gonna be so crazy in here because there's nothing in here, it's so empty. But oh well. Got Chipotle because you know your girl hungry. And then after this, I'm gonna go start and get it ready. Then I went to Walmart. Their mattresses were way too expensive. Then I went to Costco. And I was thinking about getting a Costco card, but it don't really make no sense because there's no benefits with a regular Costco card. It doesn't really make any sense, it doesn't serve no purpose. So, I got some stuff from Walmart, things I'm gonna need tonight, like toothpaste, have a toothbrush, like body wash, a rag, well, washcloth, and some lotions and stuff. So, I got that off, which is good, um, cause I'm gonna need those tonight, I'm gonna need those regardless, so I was just like, let me just get out the way since I'm already in Walmart. Um, yeah, my one of my roommates is here. Well, she's not here, but her stuff is here. I see when I came back, her stuff is here. So that's exciting. <laughs> um, we're, we're moving in. My other roommate is not coming until like later at night, and I'll probably won't be here. I'll still be at the concert or leaving the concert. So I'll see her eventually, though. Do y'all see how tired I am? Like, look at my face. I am exhausted. A girl been up basically since 5 a.m. 
But yeah, I just finished like cleaning down my whole bathroom because I'm about to go take a shower. So, and I just cleaned off like doorknobs and light bulb, light bulb, light switches for now. I'm not gonna do too much now because I have to start getting ready and yeah, some of it. And I don't have a lot of cleaning supplies. I just have whatever was left over from last semester. I had Lysol spray, some Dawn dish soap, <laughs> and I just scrub, 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 scrubbed out everything. So it smells like cleaning products in here. Oh, that is heavy. Anyway, I'm about to go take a shower. So I'm gonna do this real quick. Um, so this is the fit. I'm wearing this top that you guys remember from my birthday, and these pants. They're on my Instagram. Um, I'm not in love with the outfit, but it is what it is. I'm in a rush, so we gotta go, and I'm gonna wear those orange dunks and call it a day. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys clips. I'm not bringing my camera. We ain't got those time, the time for those problems. But yeah, I'll see y'all later. You're probably wondering, where's the footage from the Chris Brown concert, blah, blah, blah. I didn't go. <laughs> I didn't go. Okay. We missed the train, and then I wasn't going to drive there. I just, I just, I, I didn't care to go that bad, so we did not end up, well, I did not end up going. I'm on my way to go get gas. We're running out of gas, so that's first. Um. And then I'm gonna go to Target and go buy like bathroom rugs, a shower curtain, and any of the other like necessities I need, like any of the other necessities I need for like hygiene and stuff. Yeah, those things. And then I'm gonna see if they have any rugs. That's another thing. And a bed sheet. Yeah sheet rug um also need to go to home depot or something and get a wrench i need a wrench and then i'm gonna go see ikea to see if they have anything um last night i slept on like my mattress topper from college it was like a twin xl but i don't think i'm gonna be using it for my actual bed because it's too small so yeah, that's what I slept on. It was pretty comfy, I can't lie. Um, and I had pill pillows, so I was not, I was not lacking at all. But yeah, um, last night I also set up that like mini little dresser thing that I got from Amazon. It's smaller than I expected, so I'm thinking maybe I should get another one and then use them as bedside tables. Several days later. It got so hectic, like, I had a whole breakdown, I just couldn't, and then I left, like, the camera in the car, and then I just left it in there for three days, and every time I went in the car, I kept forgetting to pull it out, but I'm so sorry for being a bad vlogger, but when I get back to the apartment, I'll show you guys the updates I made, my bed came, well, the bed frame and stuff came, and I, I built the dang bed myself, I bought a desk, I built that. And then also I got like a little side table, like a nightstand, and I built that too. Call me Bob, the MF Builder. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing mostly. I have my mattress, I have the box spray, everything is all good. Now I just have to get bed sheets, like a set of bed sheets, because the bed sheets I have are for Twin XL, and I now sleep on a twin. I mean, now sleep on a full. So I need to get the right sheets. Um, I've hung up some of my clothes in my closet and yeah so I'll give you guys that whole update when I get back to the apartment um, probably gonna be later on tonight because I have work I'm on my my way right now to go get my nails and my toes done because boy do they need it especially after doing all this handiwork my hands feel and look like man hands so I need my claws back I need some girliness back because I'm not feeling it 
so yeah that's what's been going on so sorry for being a bad vlogger um but yeah guys i want to introduce you guys <laughs> <laughs> I want to introduce you guys to one of my roommates. No. She's not looking like herself right now. It's okay. Grilled cheese. <laughs> this is Indaye. <laughs> and our other roommate, Kiwi, she's at work. But yeah, I'm about to go show up my room. Be right back. Room tour? No, not Bentley. Oh. So this is like a little start of what has been happening with my room. And yeah the desk i built the bed we built the drawer i built that that i put together and then here is the bathroom it's a vibe it's a vibe you know it's a vibe laundry basket it's nice it's nice it's nice and yeah we're not gonna look in the closet because that's just irrelevant so yeah but this is it for now and of course i have an updated room tour with everything that i've done but yeah hey guys so it has been a few days um i don't really like the way like i was like transitioning everything like you guys barely got to see me set up y'all didn't even see that y'all didn't get to see me set up my bed build the desk build the nightstand i'm very 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 sorry um it was just like a lot going on and then like i kept leaving as i said i kept leaving the damn camera in the car like but everything is all situated now um i promise i promise i promise that i will give you guys an updated room tour when everything is like more of my liking it's like right now it's just like an empty space and i feel like there's so much stuff i really want to do with this room and recreate so please stay tuned for that i'm so sorry for not making any videos this summer well i made videos not posting this whole summer as i explained it wasn't my fault i'm still going through like um external hard drive issues trying to figure that out so once i figure it out you guys will be getting the content back to back to back to back because i will be consistent it's just technology doesn't want me to be but i will make sure i'm doing that for you guys and yeah i just want to thank you guys so much for watching um those that have been asking like my mom has been telling me like people have asked them like where's the videos where's the videos thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video